Agreed with that. That's the thing. It, it adds a ev- level of nervousness. Um, oh, this is from this is from the Galatasaray game. <laughs> uh, <is> it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same though. It could have easily been from Ipswich. <laughs> I would have gone off forever. Yeah, 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 we probably yeah, wouldn't have realised as well. We probably wouldn't have realised. Yeah. See how the internet did react to the game yesterday. First up is from the Spurs watch saying Tottenham. Whenever they ha- have a chance to get in the top four, are the worst football team in existence. It's yeah, so true. It's hard to uh, disagree with that, isn't it? Because whenever we have teams like a big opportunity, I mean, it's mad to think if we win yesterday with third place. Mm-hmm. It is mad to think that. Like that is just it's just so Tottenham. And it, and if any, if you ever wanted a layup with Ipswich at home, that is just like to go third. Like, you couldn't have asked for a better game, really, apart from Southampton at home. It's just so classic Spurs, though, isn't it? It's just so classic. Like, you go you go into that uh, Crystal Palace game and you're like, Crystal Palace haven't won a, a, won a game all season. We go and lose to them. They haven't, lo- they haven't won a game since. You go and play the Man City team, who haven't lost all season. We go and, uh, we go and win. Aston Villa, they haven't lost away from home all season. They come to our stadium. We absolutely play them off the park. We bat them 4-1. And Ipswich... Of all teams, Ipswich come to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium haven't won all season and they're probably not going to win again for the next however long. They're probably going to get relegated. They come and beat us. Every time before an international break, every time where Spurs have an opportunity, they absolutely fluff their lines and bottle it. It's just like a, it's just classic Tottenham, isn't mm-hmm. it? Absolutely. This is the worst Spurs performance before an international break since the last Spurs performance before an international <laughs> break. <laughs> that is just Tottenham all over. <laughs> Oh, good. Seven on the shirt says, I know what will cheer you up seeing how hell end Harry Clark celebrated his win at Spurs today towards the Spurs fans. See that? What a dickhead. What a dickhead. One of the only players in Premier League history to score an own goal. What was it? Score an own goal. Give away a penalty. And give away a penalty. Get back in the mud, He's got a target on his back, Harry Clark. Spurs Connect saying, so frustrating seeing fans focus uh, criticism on Ange, but not the owner's. Same conversation will happen in 18 months when the next manager has a scapegoat. Here's the stat. Seven managers in five years. Disgrace. Maybe the managers are not the problem. Levy and Enoch are the problem. And that's where I stand as well. As I've said, I've had my issues with them. I still have issues with them. But I just think the way since Andrew's come in, I I just don't see a massive issue with how they've conducted themselves. That's all I'm saying. Carly says, uh, just quote, uh, taking a picture of Billy T's tweet saying uh, being a Spurs fan is like having a terminal disease where you don't even get to die at the end <laughs> so true, literally man. forever going on this pl- being a Spurs forever fan forever in pain man I've been forever diagnosed with pain. being Spurs oh god oh, I feel sorry for you man <laughs> Mari says Son should try this more often come on Sonny and yeah he, had, he should no but he had about three attempts like that yesterday did he? Yeah. I don't even remember this one. Maybe I remember one he more. had two more, which well, you didn't remember them because they flew over the bar and they were terrible mm. efforts. <laughs> uh, Prof Spurs saying, I know you're going to hate me for this. So uh, this one time, uh, it's a free pass to call me a total C. But Spurs are now three points off third with the second best goal difference in the Premier League. You know maybe the league is a little bit chaotic. I think there is something to that. I mean, as much as we're, we've lost five games... The league is very chaotic. It's still not good enough to lose these games against Ipswich and and, uh, and Palace and not win against Leicester as well. That's mm. obviously not good enough and that's a massive red flag. But if we can make up for it in other games where you don't expect us to get points, which, you know, Tottenham can do, then it won't be as bad. But you know, I think there is, the league is definitely... Cha- I think no one can deny the league is very chaotic this season. Yeah. I just feel like the, the quality in the Premier League is just so high. You look at the... the the top 10 teams in the league mm-hmm. there's not a bad team there is yeah, there yeah and they've all got good managers as well and you you look back to when when Spurs were finishing in the in the top 2 top 3 under Pochettino I mean that wasn't the case and you had a lot of teams kind of like off it at that moment in time with your Man Cities and, and people like that I think that. that was the case in his like early years but when one see once it was a couple of years down the line I don't think that was the case Vic uh, be like scolding Radu and then suddenly sees Son and is, I have to show love to my captain too. <laughs> <laughs> good old Vic. But he loves to run and say, you're a dickhead. <laughs> right, yeah, I mean, Radu's got to step up, man. He has to step up. I don't know what moment. I think this, what, this must be leading up to the second half, maybe, when the teams are out. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's the end of the game. 
Invert the wing says, liability defensively cannot even offer anything going forward anymore. Been absolutely terrible this season. A total passenger. Uh, Pedro Porra has created one big chance in the Premier League this season. And for someone of his quality, the amount of goal contributions he got last season, that is nowhere near good enough. And, and I kind of agree with this. I don't agree with it totally, but I do think he's dropped off this season. He's not as good as he was. I think last season was brilliant. This um, what was it the four goals and seven assists. I think mm -hmm. it was um, one. That was his first assist. That was his first it's assist. I mean, for a player of, of Poro's quality, it's not good enough. Yeah, for sure. I don't think he's been as bad as what he's saying in terms of defensively. I don't. But again, I think he was better defensively last season than he was this season. Yeah, he's definitely not been as good. Now Spence is fit though. Like I, I would actually drop Poro. Um, and put Spence in for the City game. Um, I wouldn't do it for the City game, but maybe if he has a bad game against City, I'll do it. Um, Stat Muse, Brendan Johnson versus Ipswich, uh, just zeros across the board, and all he did was cardio. <laughs> and he bottled that challenge. Never, not going to forgive him for that. Yeah, one, one challenge bottled. Uh, Davina THFC says, sum up that game in one picture. And there you have it. All the Spurs players looking very depressed. Except for Romero, who seems to be walking off fine. <laughs> <laughs> Always plays into that narrative, bloody Romero. Yeah. He had to do a bloody smiling picture after the game as well when he's with Argentina. I mean, I didn't like that at all. Just at least wait a day. Why on that night? We've just lost a big embarrassing game. You've had a bit of a stinker and you're posting a smiling selfie. Like, oh, international duty, international vibes. Great. This is what he lives it's like, for, come on, international come game. on, Kuti. Um, Hotspur reports saying Tottenham's last six Premier League games win loss win loss win loss yeah it's, the inconsistency is maddening isn't it yeah it's you can't you so you just can't like ever know like you can't ever get comfortable with Tottenham I just you think I you've just turned a corner it, and then, and then that's we, the thing like two step forward I mean one step forward two step back I mean it's just so frustrating it's like you go to Old Trafford and win great lose to Brighton after being tuned up at half time um Next game, smash West Ham off the park. Go lose to Crystal Palace in an ab abject display. Worst display of the season. Aston Villa, you absolutely played them off the park. They haven't lost their way all up from home all season. And then you put in your worst display of the season against Ipswich at home after everyone says it's a fortress. I mean, this up and down nature is doing none of us any good. No, absolutely none not. None of us. Absolutely not. Uh, Spurs Army saying Ange Postacoglu reacts to a fan shouting at him as he walks down the tunnel at half time. Yeah, I'm watching still. I don't know if you can hear what the fan is saying. I'm trying, I'm trying to listen. I don't know. The first time that Ange has snapped back at a fan, is I it? mean, but he hasn't. It's not snapping back, is he? What's he done, really? He's just looking. Stands there and gives him the stare. But no, he's just looking. Who said it? I don't think he's even staring. I think he's looking to see who said it. He couldn't see. I think it was, well, I mean, it was very different to the last one against uh, yeah. City, where he literally, what did he, I can't remember what he said, but he went at, he went at someone. Yeah. Um, so I think people saying, I mean, he reacted. He, all he did was look and see who said it. Maybe he would have reacted if he saw them, mm. but I don't even know what was said. Maybe yeah. he was saying, oh, you're a C word, and then he should react. Yeah. Uh, Ricky TFC says, only Tottenham could go into a game needing a win against Ipswich to sit third in the Premier League before an international break and land up in 10th spot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just mad. It's just mad. But it also, again, plays to the fact that the league is so tight. It is so tight. Mm. And in one win, and all of a sudden, things look very different. Yeah. But when you're not but being... At some point, teams are going to show consistency. And at some point... And maybe if, you, if, they would say the same about us. Yeah, they point. will be saying the same as us. But I feel like there are teams with better quality that... You know, we'll get that consistency. I don't know. Um, I think I think we've got m as much quality as anyone else we're competing with. Uh, Rizla says he exists. He is real. And that is Doctor Tottenham rearing its ugly head. Again. Someone take away his medical degree, for God's sake! I was saying, sack the guy, man. God, Just sack. Who is still going to see this guy? Who sack gives him, him money now? For God's sake, Doctor Tottenham needs to be relieved of his duties, man. Oh, it's just horrific, terrible. man. Horrific, horrific, <laughs> horrific. Spurs Web says Tottenham's last five games before an international break have all resulted in losses. Where is it going wrong? So that was the Chelsea game, the Fulham game, the Newcastle game, the Brighton game and the Ipswich game. I mean, all of them. I mean, Chelsea game when we lost 4-1, that was actually like, we actually put in a fairly good display that day. Um, but we got two men sent off. The Fulham game, 
the Brighton second half and the Ipswich game were all shocking performances. Yeah, terrible. I don't know what it is before just before an international break. We just can't seem to. I don't know what it is. I mean, how? Wh- why could that be an excuse for anything yeah. that we're going on international duty? But it seems to be some sort of correlation that well, any time we're about to go away, we lose. Yeah. Why is that? Why does that keep happening? Uh, Memorino is saying Spurs, Spurs, Bin Hood. Um, Spur, Robin Hood, uh, Robin Hood, uh, a play on Robin Hood is going to. We well, yeah, exactly. We give to, we take from the rich and Let's give to the take poor. Take to the rich and give. That's to what the we poor. do. That's, that's what we're for the good of the league. <laughs> God. George Achille is saying Doctor Tottenham needs to be studied at Cambridge and Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. He needs to be giving uh, lessons, uh, lectures, Dr. Tottenham. I want to know what, what his secrets are. Spurs, when they have the chance to gain ground on the teams above them before the international break. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Derby, yeah, 100%. Honestly. Like Derby 07 08, literally yeah. the worst. <laughs> That's just history. literally who he become. <laughs> and it's like Tottenham, when, all, when you've given up all hope, it's like bloody um, 2010 Barca. That's what it is. It's madness, isn't it? Like, there's no team in the world like this, like no. Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, this is Spurs. 58% pass completion from Dragashin today. That's more concerning than the defending, which is which is in part due to a non-existent McField. Always rushes his passes and headers with zero pressure. Doesn't help calm down the team. Agreed with that. That's the thing. It, it adds an ev- a level of nervousness. Um, uh, this is from... This is from the Galatasaray game. <laughs> uh, <is> it? <laughs> it's the same, though. It could have easily been from Ipswich. <laughs> I would have gone off forever. Yeah, 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 we probably yeah, wouldn't have realised as well. We probably wouldn't have realised. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that is reacts. That is how the internet did react to the game yesterday. Yeah.